TurboCore, the world's first magnetic bearing, oil-free centrifugal compressor for air conditioning applications. From Danfoss, engineering tomorrow. Safety precautions must be observed during the installation, startup, and service of the compressor due to the presence of pressure and voltage hazards. Only qualified and trained personnel should install, start up, and service Danfoss TurboCore compressors. This step-by-step -step service tutorial will guide you through the verification of the bearing PWM amplifier. As an integral part of the magnetic bearing control system, the PWM amplifier provides power to the electromagnetic bearing coils in response to commands from the BMCC. Additionally, the PWM passes feedback from the bearing current sensors to the BMCC. When the compressor calibration is unusual or bearing faults are occurring, it is recommended to verify the PWM. Begin by disconnecting the compressor interlock and chiller controller connections from the I.O. board to prevent interference from external sources during testing. Remove the service side cover. To verify the PWM diodes, power to the compressor must be off. ESD precautions must be taken to prevent possible damage to static sensitive components. The PWM diodes are controlled to pass the 250 volts DC to the bearing coils. Disconnect the PWM Molex connectors from the bearing power feed-throughs. For earlier versions, disconnect the PWM cluster blocks from the feed-throughs. Disconnect the J4 250 volt DC input connector from the backplane. With a multimeter set for diode measurement, insert the negative test lead into the HV positive test point on the backplane. Using the positive test lead, test each point of the PWM output cables, ensuring that the test lead contacts the pin in the connectors. The voltage drop across the diode should be 0.39 to 0.46 volts DC. Remove the negative test lead from the backplane and insert the positive test lead into the HV negative test point on the backplane. Using the negative test lead, test each point of the PWM output cables, ensuring that the test lead contacts the pin in the connectors. The voltage drop across the diode should be 0.39 to 0.46 volts DC. Reinstall the PWM output cables. Apply power to the compressor. To determine if the PWM is draining energy, verify the related test points on the back plane. Using a multimeter set for DC voltage measurements, insert the leads to the positive 5 and 0 volt test points. Then the HV negative and positive 17 volt. And finally, the HV negative and HV positive test points. The test points can range within 10% of nominal voltage. Disconnect power to the compressor. Wait for the LEDs on the back plane to turn off. Disconnect the PWM output cables from the bearing feed-throughs. Reapply power to the compressor and wait approximately one minute for the compressor to complete the startup sequence. You may then verify the voltage test points on the back plane again. Disconnect power to the compressor. Wait for the LEDs on the back plane to turn off. ESD precautions must be taken to prevent possible damage to static sensitive components. Remove the serial driver and BMCC. Remove the screws that hold the PWM to the compressor and gently pull it out of the backplane connector. Carefully install the BMCC and serial driver. Apply power to the compressor. Wait for the compressor to complete the startup sequence and verify the voltage test points on the backplane. If the voltage values remain the same, the PWM might not be the source of energy drain. Disconnect power to the compressor and reinstall the PWM. 
If the issue with the bearing system is not identified, the PWM may not be the source of the problem and other bearing system verifications should be performed. Additional details can be found in the service manual or the TurboTool app. This completes the tutorial for verification of the Danfoss TurboCore bearing PWM amplifier. For more information on Danfoss TurboCore products and service documentation, please visit us online at turbocore.com.